I'm Mark Fenn, Associate Conservator here at the Asian Art Museum of San Francisco. You might think that this stupa was solid, but in fact it's hollow, and it's very interesting to consider what's inside. It contains all sorts of materials which, in context, are considered sacred. Some of them were pretty surprising to me. As part of the ceremonies that we held in order to close our old location in Golden Gate Park and move to this building, we decided to reconsecrate this stupa and a similar sized figure of a llama. They'd had their contents removed decades earlier, but we had the contents still around. So first we got a Tibetan scholar, Robert Clark, and a local llama to come in and look at what we had already taken out and to tell us if we needed anything else to go in with it. They left us with quite a shopping list of things to come up with. First of all, they wanted a lot of dried juniper branches, or the leaves of the juniper plant, which would serve as sort of a packing material. And then they gave us also a list of things like we had to come up with barley and sesame and rice in little packets, also gemstones or pieces of gemstones, coins, and a few other things. Then we had a bunch of rolled sutras from previously. On the day, we had everything there. We had a table in the gallery that was all set up like a temple altar. And we had the stupa and the lama there and all the monks. So the lama who was in charge then came up and turned the stupa upside down and started loading in all the contents with the juniper leaves as a packing material between until it was all full, or it was getting full, but they didn't have everything in yet. So the llama in charge casually reached over and picked up this hammer that was sitting there. Holding it by the head, he used the handle like a plunger and started jamming the contents in, which of course alarmed me terribly because I'm a conservator, and I know that this thing is made of uh, gilded copper sheets that are riveted together. And I could just imagine him hitting it good and hard and shoving the hammer all the way through and having everything fall out on the floor. And wouldn't that be amazing? So um, <clears throat> suddenly, as we were trying to figure out what to do, he stopped. Somebody else came up with a much smaller uh, little mallet that he could use instead. But he had got as far as he wanted to go, apparently, because he stopped with the plunger, went ahead and put the rest of the contents in. And then um, we put the plate that's on the bottom there in place and turned it over for the rest of the ceremony. And then later on, we took it downstairs and secured the bottom um, more permanently. 